Hi, I'm Tim Roble, and welcome to another episode of Adventure Athlete. Today is the start of uh, build day 31 on the truck. And here's kind of what we got going on now. I got the, um, I've used up all of my uh, material, uh, waiting on the load to come in right now. So perfect time for a video. I just got the Herculiner applied down on the uh, first piece of flooring. That's pretty exciting. I did uh, painted one side last night, flipped this over. This is the bottom side. So I'll wait for that to set up and looking forward to uh, getting that knocked out and in place. Um, so as I walk across this stuff and talk, um, what I'm gonna do up front is um, from probably this point right here um, down, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it do a slight angle, a uh, little bit for aerodynamics, a lot of bit for looks. Um, from being inside uh, here, uh, I am gonna cut up into this drip rail area and then down for the uh, pass through. Probably gonna be right here about 28 inches wide, maybe not even that wide. Um, probably measure my shoulders and see what it is. Uh, the less, the better. Less to seal, less, less to have to worry about. But uh, that's pretty much where the cut through is going to be. Um, got all this tubing laid out. And everything is uh, looking really good. Um, hammering down, ready to go. Um, I'm really fighting continuity right now. Um, spending time with my dad, spending time riding motorcycles, this and that. Um, I may take off from riding the trials event this weekend and just go with um, working on the truck. Um, why I'm saying that, let's go down and take a cool look at the side here. Um, got the stairs in. I think you guys saw that the last video. That makes things nice for getting up and in. But I framed up all the lower boxes, so we kind of got a look at what this thing's going to look like now. I just didn't want a box sitting on top of the frame rails. Um, I wanted something that had lower storage, so this whole thing will be storage. And here I still got uh, two cross members to put in there. Uh, like I said, waiting on material, but uh, I got all of this front section, which is eight foot tall, all welded out, uh, ready to go for the first uh, eight feet of plywood to go down and actually get screwed down in place. Um, I'm not welded up up top, but I am within an eighth of an inch of being 100%. Um, I guess that would be true. Um, it's square. Everything is square um, within probably a 30 second. I mean, it's super, super tight, but um Weighing in at uh, trying to get everything side to side, you know, as you measure the X on top. Um, I'm real close on that. Probably, like I said, about a quarter of an inch. So I'll pull that into place and then get all of that welded out. I am welding things out uh, symmetrically. So I'll weld like this one and then the front corner and then the back corner and the back corner and then work my way through. That's working out. But I love the way the uh, fender wells are turning out, how everything is starting to, to take shape and uh, work out. And uh, pretty thrilled about all of that. Sounds like I got metal here. So that's going to be it for now. Um, I'm Tim Robo. I appreciate each and every one of you guys' views. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll catch you here next time.